What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and today I want to talk about the stories behind the names of some famous LA streets. The heart of African American Los Angeles since at least the 1950s, Crenshaw Boulevard was named after banker developer George Crenshaw in 1904. This is a 23 mile street that runs through Crenshaw, Lamert Park, and Baldwin Hills. Crenshaw was originally from Missouri and developed Lafayette Square and Wellington Square and owned the Crenshaw Security Company. It was also a source of controversy in the 2000s when there was a movement to name the road after Tom Bradley, LA's first African-American mayor. Never happened, though. Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills was once part of a massive 3,200-acre ranch called Rancho Rodeo de las Aguas, which means Gathering of the Waters, originally granted to Maria Rita Valdez Villa. There were cattle, sheep, and pigs raised on the ranch, as well as acres of beets and barley. The land went through many owners until the turn of the century when the Rodeo Land and Water Company, headed by Burton Green, bought it, hoping to strike oil. They did not find oil, but they did instead build the subdivision of Beverly Hills. In 1907, they named one of the main streets through this fledgling neighborhood, Rodeo Drive, named after the Rancho. Sepulveda Boulevard is the longest street in Los Angeles County at 42.5 miles, running from Long Beach to Mission Hills. It is named after Francisco Sepulveda, a 19th century cattle rancher whose ranch, Rancho San Vicente y Santa Monica extended from that route to the Pacific Ocean. La Cienega Boulevard is a major north-south artery that runs between Hawthorne and West Hollywood. It was named for Rancho Las Cienegas, literally the ranch of the swamps, an area of marshes that were prominent between Baldwin Hills and Beverly Hills. The word is described from Cienaga, which is the Spanish word for swamp. Pico Boulevard is a major Los Angeles street that runs from the Pacific Ocean at Appian Way in Santa Monica to Central Avenue in downtown LA. It is named after Pio Pico, the last Mexican governor of Alta, California. Alvarado Street was also named after a governor of Alta, California, Juan Batista Alvarado, who served from 1836 to 1842. It starts off north of Glendale Boulevard, where it's a residential street, and then becomes a major thoroughfare just south before merging with Hoover Street. That's part one of LA's famous street names. Leave some comments. Tell me what streets you want to know the history of after this. Thanks for watching.